Have you ever rang Babe Station? Or something like that? Have you ever called in? No. Have you not? But I want to do it more than I've ever done. <laughs> I've just decided we need to put something on the expense account. I uh, I rang him once and right. just giggled and put the phone down. Oh yeah, I was like fourteen or something, or when I, I like I was young and rang up and finally got through. <laughs> and she went, "Hi, big boy. What 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 do you want, big boy? Or whatever, mate. Like, that is call center hack, isn't it? <laughs> You're right, big boy. Hello, big boy. What are you?" What are you up to today? And I just went, <laughs> and just put the phone down. It cost me six quid. <laughs> Do you know what? I bet that happens. I bet that happens about 43 times a day. And they what? there'll be an industry name for them. Yeah, fucking, uh, we've got a giggler. We've got a giggler. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're all right, love. So, yeah, I'd love to try and freak one of them out. Our, uh, hey, what you up to? <laughs> yeah, nothing. What are you up to? <laughs> I bet they've heard it all, though, haven't they? Do you reckon? Does it? I, I, I always just think, like, if I was ever lonely, right, like single, living on my own, bored. Yeah. Could you just ring them for, like, a normal chat? Well, I bet. I'd love to put a percentage of it. I bet about 30, 40% of the, of the regular phone money they make is from people who think they've got like sad, lonely men who mm. think they've got a connection. And like, it's probably the same. No, but I don't want to be that guy. I just want to ring up and go, listen, love, right? Obviously, you, because they have it on silence on the telly, don't they? they? Just have a bit of music so you can't hear what she's saying. She's like, and she's just on the phone. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> what does so it do? Like, yeah. I understand that you've got to like pretend that we're talking sexy here, but I just really want to like, Slag me dad off, is that all right? What if you rang up like depressed? Like, I, I know you, I know no one can hear me on the TV station and you've got to keep thrusting. I've just been so lonely since Carol died. <laughs> she's got to I've be been like, thinking about suicide. I'm thinking about ending it. And she's like, tell me more. Oh, no. Tell me more. Like, have you you've got, a car? got so much to live for? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, don't do it. Think about these big tits. <laughs> There must be, I'm now thinking about it, Babe Station must have a code word to get, like, the Samaritans online too. Listen, Adam, I can't talk anymore. You're too sexy. But Nigel from the switchboard is going to put you in touch with someone who can help. Mm, good luck. Uh. Never in my life have I felt this uncomfortable. I've never felt this like weird out. <laughs> but they are. I bet they, I bet they do. I bet they have to be like, love, <laughs> love, <laughs> don't do it. But they, on the TV screen, don't like, do it, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> you think that's how you convince people to not kill themselves? <laughs> Listen, just don't do it. There you go, problem solved. That's how you stay alive. I'm having a really hard time with my phone bill. It's. <laughs> Just 423 quid a week. I'll just pay it then. <laughs> well, never mind that, but don't kill yourself. Keep keep on the line. Keep on the line. <sighs> Do you reckon that on like commission? Or like a flat hourly rate? Do you reckon no. if they keep you on the phone longer, you, they get more money? Yeah, good question. I think you might get paid. Yeah. But then again, if you're getting asked for, it's a bit like being a headliner in a comedy club, isn't it? You're going to earn more money. Yeah, they put like, the fucking open spots on first, don't they? Those first few hours. Do you think, when's the key time for Babe Station? I think first few hours is when more people are awake. Well, maybe they put the open spots on at the end then, like in America. Headline first. Yeah. And by like, I've never seen it at 5am, but some ropey one with like one eye and a fucking stump. Yeah, I, love. I don't hear so good, you're going to have to shout up. Welcome to birth station, late night. 
<laughs> it's too far, wasn't it? It's too far. <laughs> it was the it was the, it was the way you were holding you. Do you know that gave me a bit of anxiety because it's so rare that I go too far and Adam's going no no no. I'm like oh shit. I wasn't going no no no. I was oh, really, right, okay, really enjoying it. I, th- I thought you were going Dan. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to restart the episode. I was like oh shit. Oh absolutely not. Station. Uh, what about when does babes? Is it not just on all day now? Oh, you can't have babe station on in the afternoon. Just, you've got to at least let the kids get home from school. Oh, yeah. Who's ringing base station at 8.45? Oh, yeah, you're on rush hour <laughs> with Mandy. <laughs> Why uh, do they all sound like bricklayers? Yeah, because they're the fucking C team, aren't they? They're like the third choice goalkeeper. <laughs> They're the, they're, they're the Rob. They're the Rob Green of Babe Station TV. Like. Up a wage. Hiya, uh, it's Monday. I'm on drive time, right? And as I've heard, we've got a rule: no wanking in traffic. Ooh. Oh. Uh. So, looking forward to gigs then. <laughs> That's funny. I what? I did a gig in a, ga- a garden yesterday. Did you? With Freddie? Yeah, with Freddie Quinn and Rob Moore Holland, mashallah. Oh, I've just pressed the thing. <laughs> my, my chair's just lowered. <laughs> I, uh, I'm on glue today. I'm in a really good mood. <laughs>